daily quest, so I'm gonna do that today. Uh, let me just pull up something to listen to while I play. So our quests are kind of shitty. Um, I think we're gonna have to play Jun Suicide because we need creatures and black spells. Which kind of sucks. Alright. Let's play. So we got blue black, red black. This will be easy. This is a little bit more hard than creature spells. So until we at least get the creature spells out of, out of the way, we gotta play something aggro. Uh, I guess I'll open my, my bonus packs. play John Suicide. The only... It, we did get a change here. I need to check pump spells, actually. So let's check... Um... Instant and Sorceries. And... Red, Green, and Black... That pump creatures. Overprotect's kind of interesting. I don't think any of these really match up to uh, when I saw... Okay, I guess not. So, like I was saying, the only real thing that I changed is I changed the balance here a little bit. I dropped one Claim. I dropped one Fireblade Charger. I dropped one Shambler for three hard fire heroes. I um, think this is probably better than Fireblade Charger in the slot, although there are times when this is better. Um, but this gets the plus one counters. Um... So, you know, it, it doesn't have the option to point it at anything other than our opponent's face, but that's usually where we want to go anyway. So this deck's all about pumping things that get effects when they die and then sacrificing them. So we've got Shamblers, creates tokens, um, Supernatural Stamina, uh, pump and regenerate the creature from the graveyard when it dies, Village Rites, draw cards, obviously. Scamp is the best one of these deals damage equal to its power when it dies card because it can sacrifice itself. Collateral damage is our instant speed, sacrifice, deal 3 damage, Fireblade Charger is just a worse scamp, 
um, Hardfire's hero is like sort of a better Fireblade Charger. <laughs> Monstrous Rage is just a good pump spell. Reckless Charge obviously gives us haste and plus three plus zero. Scale up plus six plus four or plus six plus three in our case most of the time. Um, this is our fling spell along with having a body attached to it it's really good. Um, Silic Shot Show Off is also really good, um, just the overall strategy here, and then three claim fames to get things back from the graveyard, including Silic Shots that you can then use at instant speed. Sideboard doesn't matter because we're playing best of one, but we claim the firstborn Knight of the Shadow against um, against life decks, Bowmasters against things that draw, Surgical Extraction against combo and graveyard stuff, um, guy's blessing, one guy's blessing to stick in the deck if you're against mill. Back to nature against enchantment decks like um, enchant lock decks and uh, windstorm to deal with flying stuff. And that's it. So let's play some games. I haven't been playing this deck as much because it doesn't line up well into the energy life gain deck, but um, we need we need to cast creature spells and black spells, so kind of gotta play it, I guess. This is good. This is 18 damage on turn two. So we just win now. We can claim fame with the scam. I can't use these lands at all anymore. Pretty funny. Ah. Alright. So now. That is actually challenging. Uh, actually, it's fine, because he's not going to be able to combo out because he has to block. So we're just going to claim. Wait, hang on. Yeah, claim. So he has to block. That means he's not going to have the four mana to combo out next turn. And as soon as we untap, we have black mana to really great. He also only has three types, but like... Pretty unlikely he wins here. Get him. Nice that we can win with village rights as well because we we actually need black spells cast, so that's good. 
Counts as a black spell. Fortunately, it was only one creature, even though this is an aggro deck. This is like a spell aggro deck. It's kind of similar to the way like Wizards plays, except for probably not quite as good as Wizards. Huh. It's a little bit more explosive than Wizards, and a little bit less versatile. Like, Wizards has a lot of burn spells, they have a lot of removal and stuff they can use. This has none of that, but it's way more, like, you can hit for 18 on turn 2. So, kind of a trade-off. Yeah, we'll take those. We have Charger, Collateral, Super Stam. see a land here so that we can kill whatever he's trying to do. Really? Alright, no balls. Okay. Are you okay? Sure. thinking uh, Super Sam and his cell sword deals three eight. Sacrifice both creatures. Seven here? No, I don't think we can do that. So we super sammed it. Like I said, this deck does not line up well. If we get a green though, but he can just sacrifice like the raptor and the token now, and we're just kind of fucked to kill the slip shot. I would love it for us to untap. If we untap, we can at least draw cards off. Okay, good. So. Try to hit something. We're dead, but we at least want to cast as much as we can.
so we can get one point spell cast here. Well, no, he can just kill us. Okay, we're dead. This is why I haven't been playing this deck a lot, because with this stupid red-white energy deck being like 50% of the meta, the our deck is just not good into that, because like, they're doing a similar thing to us in that they're having really explosive kind of gimmicky uh, damage, but they're a lot more resilient than us because they're gaining life. Um, and in best of one, where we can't sideboard in or anti-life gain cards, it's like really tough for us to overcome that because we're trying to deal like 20 damage by turn three. But they're clogging up the board, they have first strike, they have life link, things like that. It doesn't usually work out super great for us. Fine with that. And it does the right thing. Mm, attacking first. Force him to sacrifice it anyway. one land and we would be good because we're good. Okay, perfect. So now we can shambler. If he sacrifices that, it's like even better. Okay, get some Johnny. Kill two of these, but he ends up with nothing. Well, he ends up with one one creature on the board. There's two of mine, ends up with one creature on the board.
I'm thinking it might be best to just play this as like a 3 3. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. like Croxa in a deck that's running basic planes. You need black, black, red, red to cast it. Trade. Sure. Like I said, it's still worth the trade here. Um, their cards are just higher value than our cards because their deck is busted. cast Proxa and we're dead. Yep, we're dead. That's... We take two, down to four, he has a Proxa. Again, seeing the reason that I haven't been playing this deck lately. Uh... Okay, creature spells, blue or black. Okay, we're still in the quest grind. It's like... It doesn't really, it doesn't really line up well into red white energy, at all. next turn. Assuming we don't eat like a board wipe here. Alright, so what do we want to do? I do think we're going in.
Board wipe here isn't even that good. He takes one damage and I get a creature out of it. By Loris. Played the nested shambler. Fuck. That would have been a black spell and a creature. <sighs> Fuck. I forgot I was trying to do a quest and not just win the game. 12 11. Our player here are actually feeling pretty good. It might be worth just replacing the um, the goblin one. Stupid shit incoming. Alright, we actually, for once, we line up pretty well here. thinking about this, so we can claim fame something, yeah, 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 so here's what we're gonna do. Claim, Heartfire Hero, fame, Heartfire Hero, swing for four. Takes our heart fighter hero, sure. Laura should be pretty sticky here. I don't even think for. I think opponents out of creatures. We'll see. Maybe he has another Johnny. Nope. No more Johnnies. Okay. Play with these. Shock this in and play one of these. Super stand for Luris. We need a sacrifice spell. He's gonna try to kill that.
Alright, that's fine. He doesn't Nothing have a red permanent right now. No red permanents at the moment. So it just makes get tokens, which is fine. I will have vengeance! Our pride must fight together! Come block me. Okay. Now, the question, do we double block here? Yeah, I think we do. We're behind. Don't want to see a red land. Flage kind of just destroys us. Alright. I mean, we'll stick around. Like, we're definitely going to lose, though. We don't have really anything that's going to deal with that flage without drawing two or more cards. We would need two cards at least. Yeah. And we're dead next turn because when it attacks it can just clear the way. I guess we, we get one more turn. And cast as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Does the damage there to get six to my does the damage to my face. Okay. Pass the blockers. Block here. But I'll damage your face. Alright. Guess I shouldn't have. Well, I had to block, or I would have died, so whatever. Again, because of this fucking stupid energy deck, I can't play this deck. Uh, creature spells are done, though. With creature spells done, we can switch to a deck that stands a little bit more of a chance. Uh, let's play some Storm Herald. This also casts black spells, but it just one-shots the opponent, so it's a little bit better.
Why the fuck does this not line up properly? Hold on. That should be better. Fucking. All right. Um. Nope. Can't take it. Nope. Can't take it. All right. We need that blue mana. And this is the deck that I'm going to be building. Well, actually, it's not. It's a different deck. But we'll be building something similar to this soon. Storm Herald, we have it on Earth. We have one, two, three, four. Um, sure. All right, we lose. Looting. Gonna scoop. Just red, red, white bullshit. Oh, well, that's interesting. Don't think we need land anymore. Storm Herald 3 2. Grim Lava Mancer can kill it, potentially. 
I do think we otherworldly gaze. Start of our turn. Try to hit an unearth. One, two. We actually don't have enough enchantments in the graveyard. But I guess we could hit unearth an enchantment, so we can go. Now we have enough enchantments. Opponent's holding a burn spell. We can get around that by casting like Storm Herald and reanimating it, potentially. Same thing, cast another worldly gaze at the start of the turn. I should have probably played the mountain, because if I'd gotten on Earth, I could have played it. But it's taking a really long time. Come on, dude. Alright. Pact is good. Pact means we have a shot. Gets a land. Plays a Johnny. Where shall we sure. hunt today? Oh, there's the unearth. Well, that showed up with good timing. Storm Herald on top, but it shouldn't matter. Getting one back right now. I think that should be big enough. The problem with this deck is a cat. Okay. Oh, actually, we got it done. Nice. So, were there any improvements for um, Char Belcher in Bloomboro? Uh, 
five paws worth of modes. Okay, so not directly. Are there any MDFC lands? No. Are there any counter spells? Type exile card of that type. Four more. All right, I'm pretty convinced that they didn't add anything. I would like to trade the gambles out for something, but I don't know how to do that effectively. You kind of need them. What about treasure? Pretty bad. Okay, we can't use artifacts that cost less than four. So artifacts are kind of out. Um. Alright, I wanted to try this deck a little, running this deck a little differently. We have 12, 24 lands, which might be more than we actually need. We could maybe go down to 22. And take one more gamble and one more magma opus. So we got three, okay, so three, six, 10, 22, eight treasure generators, we need to hit three lands total, but we also have ways to a lot of ways to ramp. Let's try running it like that. We'll give this a shot. Got like rank fifty less less season with this deck, so oh, and my music stopped.
immediately get punished for taking lands out. This looks bad for us. We can gamble for surgical. Okay, that's fine. He didn't hit, so we're good. Everyone loves a comeback story, never give up. I mean, there's conceding because it's like you're definitely going to lose, and there's staying in the game because you still haven't. I will always be in the game if I have an out. But if there's no outs, then it's fine to concede. In fact, it's good manners. I feel like that's, I mean, it's alright, I guess. Well, that's the risk of gamble. Um, so, playing to our outs again, like, we don't have our Belcher anymore, but we do have this. We shock this in. Play to our outs. We do that because, like, it would take us two turns to go off if we play this. So we can do strike offer. Let's 
seven, eight account. Account potential eight. about that goblin in there it's like uh, you have to ask yourself like is it better to have that goblin there or is it better to have something else right what are you cutting from the deck to run flage in the goblin because i feel like a goblin bombardment would be better in that slot and he's probably cut goblin bombardment from the deck if he's running that See if we get unlucky again. Perfect. We're fine with that. One and two turn clock, assuming we don't get insanely unlucky. As long as it doesn't discard our land or our belcher. So, what do we. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Play this. Alright, we're dead. This this composition with the Goblin Bovarit and the Ajani and the Amp Raptors is just better, I think, than trying to include like red white goblins that give haste sometimes and plus one plus one sometimes by spending energy that you already want to be spending on other things. Banana Museum. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Play this tap first turn. Next turn, play this tap.
just pretty lucky. So the Johnny was a joke avatar for so long. It's kind of disappointing. Play this, shock this in, beat Charbelcher, win the game. Feet Charbelcher, win the game. Also make Dragon Storm with Persist probably. It doesn't have to be the Breach the Multiverse version. I do think the Breach is probably better. If it can, then a Jace version would be really cool. Just mill yourself completely out. Just red white energy. We could play this hand. I don't think we have any payouts. I think we pitch it. Exactly what we wanted to happen. And that was the perfect top deck.
character. This turn. That could speed it up though. There we go. Portable hold my fucking treasures. Turd. I need Conspiracy and Rebels to finish that other deck. One Mythic. Two Bloomborough packs. I kind of think... Okay, so packs. This is a trash card. Why is this a mythic rare? That's fucking stupid. Relentless Rats is a mythic rare. It's idiotic. Modern Horizons is probably still better to buy. It's such a push set. You get a, another rare wild card. Phonetic Veronis, those are good. Can I get a Mythic? Fuck. Ripples. I don't need rares. Hey, <laughs> Mythics, you fucker. Alright. Son of a bitch. For like multimodal stuff.
Devastating Mastery is pretty interesting in here. Um, because, unlike something like uh, 4 mana board wipe, it can be cast for 4 mana to, to board wipe. But it won't be hit by our discover. I don't know what you would sub out for it. Let's play a game with Dumbo Drop. Last game, last game. We want to do this. I think we actually do want to cycle this. Red. Okay, so.
You notice how you never play these decks when you're playing like uh Alright, we're gonna do that on his upkeep. We just send them both at the ferry. He probably has removal. We can actually cast uh, Magma Opus now if we were to draw another one. waste but okay right yep We didn't even combo. Hilarious. Alright, one more, one more. I'll play one more. Too funny. Hoist by your own petard. Lose by ulting the Teferi I copied from you. I learned it from watching you, Dad. I learned it from watching you. Okay. 
be my guest. We don't care too much about like Botsy spam because we just basically like we can top deck. This is kind of like Belcher, like we can just top deck a win. Uh, discard cards, mills two cards. How do I want to do this? Let's do this. Domain. I have lands, my friend. Come on, hit Quint. And. Well, that does suck. Oblivion next turn, make him discard some cards. And the Field of Ruin is annoying. Because we actually milled our other base egg. That's not good. Alright. Yeah, we're dead. I mean, I guess we stay in. We have red and white. There's Quentin. We don't have blue mana anymore, which kind of sucks. That puts a pretty quick timer on it. Okay, not good. We don't have any blue mana. We might be able to adjust the, the land base on this a little bit. So that's what, nine? We're dead. Strip mined. So what I was going to say is, we may be able to make the mana base more, um, more basic heavy with this deck. 
because it so we do have this set right so let's get rid of that with these five triomes we can always get a domain with just our triomes and an oil of bond so next up like these multicolors could potentially go down to like singletons And put another planes in. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. That way we at least have all of our main mana colors available if we run into a situation like we just did. Last one for real this time. I need to do some stuff. Yeah, we'll keep it. So he gets one use out of that. Red white. We have a red white. I think we're just gonna ramp here. Red, white, blue, black. So we can get domain off of the opponent's lands. Let's see if he's got an answer for a planeswalker. because he just spent all his money. So we're gonna actually get a Dumbo drop. After winning one with its very ultimate from our salty control player opponent and then losing to the last guy by being strip mined, we actually get to Dumbo drop. Fatal pushes and cut downs aren't gonna do anything now, my friend. I do have a special place in my heart for this deck.
Fatal push does nothing. bad this is better put spark double back play this tapped well that's not good can't get both, so we have red and white, so we need red, blue, black is probably the best. Alright, we lose. Yep. I want to see what he picks from his deck. To know which which version of this deck it is, so he just discarded the two cards that he only needed to win. So, Ooh. it's pretty bad, dude. Why would you do that? bad. I guess if he has what he needs to continue the, the combo in hand. Okay, he does. Scoop it up. gonna be it for now. Later.